And hello everyone, welcome back to a new video. So, today we will be talking a bit more about arrays because we haven't talked about them in such a long time. And they're such a big part of our course in Delphi. So, let's talk about them. Today we will be learning about removing items from an array. You might be saying, but... Stephen, we, we already learned how to remove items from an array, didn't we? And we'd be like, yes, we did. But if we remove an item from an array and then we display that array, and let's say that item was in the middle of the array, then the entire array would just be like uh, something, 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 there's suddenly nothing, and then something, something, something again. You know, so you don't want that. You want it to be something, 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 something the whole time. Even if you remove something, that's something that you removed shouldn't be just an empty space. That is why. We are going to learn how to fix everything. So we have a button and a reach of it. Then up here, we have an array and then our length, which is an integer. And then right here, we have two variables inside of the button click. And then we have is removed, become an input from the user. And in here, we have our ages and just random numbers I could think of. And here we have our length, which is the length of the array. So, you might think it will need like three, four loops and it will need to be like 50 lines of code. Well, I got news for you, buddy. We can actually go read display the lines that clear just to make sure everything's clean. Then what we can do is we can say um, for I become, so this is the index at which we want going to delete something. So they say index two, then it's going to delete this one right here. So we can say, uh, str to int and we can just say s remove and I don't know why I made an s remove I didn't ask me I'm very dumb dumb sometimes and then we can say to our lane begin oh gosh okay so then we can just say our age at index i becomes our age at index i plus one and then we can just say um, our length we can just say dec for decrement and we can say our no there we go our length and one because one minus the length of the array by one because now we're going to have less items in the array so then we can as also do this. So you can either in this same one right here or in a new for loop, which I prefer to do, you can display everything. I becomes one to our link begin. And here we can just say, because remember if they say start at two, it's only going to display from two. So redisplay dot lines dot add. And we want to add int to string or age at i. Press control D and then if we run this, then let's say remove item and we're going to remove item 2 which is 22. There's no 22. Now let's remove 2 again. As you can see, there's no open spaces. It removes everything for us, which is really nice. Now, if you didn't have this here, just before I explain, if you didn't have this here, and we just removed it, let's make it something like zero or something, I don't know. But remember, what if this was a string as well? Then it would just be in empty items. Let's say we want to remove two. Then whoop. But, but just imagine it didn't do that to everything. You know, so it didn't do that. Everything only did just one thing. So then this is going to be zero, and then later this is going to be zero, and this is going to be number zero, number number zero, number zero. We don't want it. We want the numbers to all line up again. So that's how we remove it. So let's see what happens. So first we get a for loop from where the user says we should remove some things from which index. We can also search for it if you want, and you can search to find the index of that specific item, and you say to the length of the entire array which we said here is 10 and then here we say 
our age is at index i, which is fixed at eat. I should have just typed it out. Anyways, there we go. They say i becomes the one after that one because you know you you just have to switch over one if, if, if you know what I mean. And then once it gets to the end at the last one and has to go over another one, then you know the, the length of the array anyways gets decreased so you don't see that. And as you can see, we just decrease the length of the array. And then here we display it. It's a very confusing thing if you just look at it. You have to try it yourself before you understand it. But basically it just moves everything forward and removes the element. So you might have a bunch of copies of the element at the end of the array. So if you don't decrease the length of the array, you're going to get a bunch of copies continuously at the end, which is very, very, very disgusting. But yeah, thank you all for watching. I hope you all understood at least. And see you later.